Welcome back everybody. Uh, I'm going to do another lesson now on, so we're still on as open chord, so I'm hoping you've done the, you know, the, the lessons before and you've got a lot of them chords under your fingers, so this is where it gets a little bit harder now. I'm going to show you a C chord today, so a lot of the other chords sort of have been over, you know, two frets, you know, we've stretched over two frets. A C chord's a little bit harder, this actually stretches over three frets, okay, so... I'm going to show you how to do it first. So the C chord is this one. This is a standard C major chord, okay? So again, if I just tilt that now. But remember, it's more important to be able to read them that way up, okay? So this one, so we want this first finger on the B string on the first fret, okay? The second finger's going to go up to the D string on the second fret. And our third finger is going to go on the A string on the third fret. So it's a bit of a stretch, okay? And the bottom E string, the thickest one, is what we call shut. Obviously, there's a cross by that, so we're not going to be playing that one. We're just going to be playing the bottom five strings. Okay, so with this chord, I'll just play it so we know how it should sound. So, so a C major chord. Lovely sounding chord and a very very commonly used chord as well. Okay, so the common uh, trouble points on this chord are usually a third finger because it's a bit of a stretch. You know, you, at the moment, you know, you haven't got the freedom in your fingers to be able to do this, so it's pretty painful. And this one's a real stretch. I can remember I used to really struggle with this one. But the problem area is usually the third finger. It's hard to really get standing up, so it's. If you have it slightly lined down, you're going to be cancelling that, you know, that D string out. So it's important to, you know, wrist a bit further underneath. Really try and stand them fingers up on the tips. Okay. Okay, so the bottom five strings that is, okay. So I'm going to show you a chord that's very similar to this, which is, is what we call an easy F chord, because it's probably the easiest F chord to play. So all we do on that one, just keeping my fingers on, so if you can see that, that's the C chord. So all we're going to do is move the second finger down one string and the third finger down one string, okay? So now we've got the first finger still on the, on the first fret, on the B string. The second finger is on the second fret on the G string and the third finger is on the third fret on the D string, okay? And this time, the, the bottom E and the A string become what we call shut. So we're just going to be playing the bottom four strings. So it should sound like this. So this is what we call an easy F chord. Okay, if you can see that. Okay. So that's an easy F chord. Okay. So we've got the C chord by moving them two fingers back up one string. Second and the third finger. That's your C. Okay, moving them two fingers down again. That's the F chord. Okay, so that's two new chords for you, and I will see you very soon for another lesson.